This video is all about how to get the best NVIDIA settings for max FPS and smooth gameplay. Before applying these tweaks, my games would stutter and FPS would drop. But after setting everything up, my games ran way smoother with higher FPS and lower input lag. These settings work on any PC with an NVIDIA GPU, so make sure to watch till the end. And if this helps you out, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like on the video. So guys, before you apply any optimization, you should start by clearing your previous NVIDIA cache files. This step helps remove outdated shader data that can lead to stuttering, slow frame buildup, or random FPS drops. To clear it properly, press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard to bring up the Run dialog box. Then type percent local app data percent and hit enter. When the local app data folder opens, move one step back to the main app data directory. Then open the local low folder. Inside it, you will find a folder named NVIDIA open that folder, then delete the entire cache folder without keeping anything inside it. By removing this data, you are wiping out anything that might be slowing down your GPU. The next time you launch a game, your system will automatically rebuild a clean and optimized shader cache, which helps reduce stutters and improve smoothness right from the start, giving you a more stable and consistent experience. All right, guys, once your system is ready, it is time to set up your NVIDIA app for the best possible FPS and performance. These settings help remove lag, stabilize frame times, and give you smoother gameplay across every title you run. Start by opening your Windows search bar, typing NVIDIA app and launching it. When it opens, move to the settings section and enter program settings. This area allows you to fine tune performance for each game. NVIDIA automatically detects your installed titles and you can either adjust everything manually or begin with auto optimize. Auto-optimize is a solid starting point because it analyzes your hardware and then applies a balanced mix of performance and quality. Simply choose your game, click optimize, and you instantly get a cleaner, faster configuration. After that, switch to global settings, which apply to all games. Begin with CUDA GPUs and set it to all, so your graphics card always runs at full capability. Disable DSR factors and DSR smoothness because these features upscale resolution and consume unnecessary GPU power. Since we are focusing on the highest possible FPS, keeping them off avoids wasted resources. Turn low latency mode to on for better input response. Competitive players can try ultra, although it may increase GPU load slightly. Enable image scaling and set sharpness to around 20 to 30%. This helps you play at lower internal resolutions while still keeping the picture clear and improving frame rates. Next, set the max frame rate just below your monitor refresh rate. For example, use 58 frames per second on a 60 Hertz screen or 142 frames per second on a 144 hertz screen. This reduces frame spikes and keeps overall gameplay more consistent. Leave OpenGL GDI compatibility and Vulkan or OpenGL. Present method on auto because Nvidia handles these optimally for your system. Change power management mode to prefer maximum performance. This keeps your GPU at higher clock speeds instead of dropping to lower power states, preventing sudden stutters. Make sure shader cache is enabled since it stores pre-compiled shaders and reduces lag during gameplay. Keeping the cache size on the default value is usually ideal. For sharper textures, set texture filtering, negative LOD bias to allow. This can improve detail in games that use MIP maps. If you notice shimmering or unstable textures, switch it back to clamp. Finally, turn vertical sync off completely. V-Sync can smooth tearing but adds noticeable input delay and lowers performance. 
If your monitor supports G-Sync or FreeSync, use those instead for smoother gameplay without the downsides. Before wrapping up your NVIDIA setup, make sure your driver's updated. Go to the Drivers tab and check for available updates. Always install the Game Ready driver because it is designed for gaming performance, faster optimizations, and better FPS across new titles. If you want to keep all your existing NVIDIA settings exactly as they are and avoid resetting anything after the update, choose Express Installation. This option updates your driver while preserving your current configuration. The Studio driver is meant for creative work and is not recommended if you are focusing on gaming performance and responsiveness. Once all your settings are applied, restart your PC or reload your game. These NVIDIA adjustments can heavily improve FPS stability, latency, and overall rendering smoothness, giving you the best performance your system can deliver. Now guys, if you're dealing with lag or high ping while gaming, the Gear Up Booster app is your ultimate fix. Here's a quick guide on how to use it for the best network performance. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. Roblox, Fortnite, or any game. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Nod tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. All right guys, it's time to apply a hidden Windows registry tweak that can give your GPU an extra boost for smoother performance. This tweak allows your graphics card to handle workloads more directly, reducing CPU overhead and improving frame delivery in games. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing registry editor, then right click it and select run as administrator. Once the registry editor is open, copy the exact path provided in the description, paste it into the address bar at the top, and press enter. On the right hand side, right click on an empty space, choose new, then doored 32-bit value, and name it HWS mode. Double click this new entry, set the value data to 2, and click OK. With this tweak enabled, your GPU begins processing frame data more directly instead of relying heavily on the CPU. The result is reduced input latency, smoother animations, and a steadier, more consistent frame rate across all your games, making this a simple but powerful performance boost. Now guys, we're going to enable a hidden feature in Windows that can give your games a small but noticeable performance boost. It works by letting your GPU manage its own memory scheduling, which reduces the workload on your CPU and can smooth out frame delivery. To start, open your Windows search bar and type graphics settings, then press enter. This will open a dedicated window where you can configure performance settings for all your games. First, open the Default Graphics Settings tab. Here, look for the toggle labeled Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. If it's off, click it to turn it on. Don't worry if you don't notice an immediate change. This setting works behind the scenes to give your GPU more control over how it handles data. 
After enabling it, Windows will ask you to restart your PC to make sure the change takes effect. So go ahead and restart your computer before moving to the next step. Once your PC is back on, we're going to tell Windows to prioritize your favorite games so they get more GPU and system attention. In the same graphics settings window, scroll down to the section called graphics performance preference, click browse, and navigate to the .exe file of the game you want to optimize. For example, if you're running a game from Steam, locate the game folder in Steam Apps, open the game folder, and select the executable file. Once it's added, click Options, then choose High Performance, and finally click Save. What this does is tell Windows that whenever you run this game, it should allocate maximum resources to it, ensuring that your GPU is fully focused on rendering the game smoothly. Repeat this process for any other games you want to prioritize. After you've set this for all your favorite titles, you can close the graphics settings window. With this tweak, games will feel more responsive, frames will be more stable, and input delay will be slightly reduced. It can make a noticeable difference in both competitive and high performance gaming scenarios. And that's it for the best NVIDIA settings to boost FPS and performance. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more gaming optimization tips.